Is it a classic style? Is it an edgy style? Is it a bohemian style? Finding your personal style can be a struggle until you pay attention to what works for you, what you like, and what you don't. These six tips will help you find your personal style. So start by finding a celebrity or someone in the public eye or several someones whose style you really like. Now it's gonna be extra helpful if you find someone that has similar coloring to you, a similar body shape to you, because that will help you really just start to identify what elements you like and that those elements will also work for you. So I look to Pinterest for inspiration. You might look to Instagram. There's so many different visual platforms. You might just be looking at people, in, you know, if you're sitting at a coffee shop, looking at people walking by and then start saving those images that you're finding. Put these images into some kind of mood board. You can use Pinterest. That's always a great place to do it. Or you can just create a file on your, on your desktop and just start put, collecting images of the style and the outfits that you like and that you're drawn to. And at this stage, you don't even need to know why you're drawn to these outfits or why you're drawn to these looks, but just knowing that there's something that you really love about a look, that's what you're starting to collect. And then once you have a bunch of images collected, you wanna look through them, look through your mood board and see what adjectives describe the style. Is it feminine? Is it classic? Is it preppy? Is it edgy? Is it bohemian? Whatever it is, start to write those adjectives down and you're gonna start to see patterns. My next tip is look in your own closet for inspiration. So what items, what pieces do you absolutely love in your closet? They're your go-to. You know if you put it on, you're gonna feel great, you're gonna look great, you feel confident. What are those items? And pull them out. What is your go-to, your uniform, the items that you absolutely love and feel great in no matter what? And once you pull these items out and once you put them aside, what elements describe these pieces? Are they classic? Are they timeless? Are they edgy? Think of adjectives that describe these pieces for you. What is the, What are the elements that keep coming up again and again and again in the pieces in your closet that you love? The next thing you wanna think about is what do you feel more confident in? What do you feel better wearing? Do you like wearing color? Do you like wearing neutrals? Do you like prints? Do you like patterns? Are there certain prints you love and some you don't? Start thinking about what you gravitate more towards wearing. Again, you can go through those pieces, those items in your closet that you absolutely love. And along those same lines, think about what colors you like. If you do like colors, what colors are they? What colors do you feel great in? Now, while there's so many resources for the colors that look good on your skin tone or with your coloring, instead of focusing on those, I want you to think more about the colors that you feel good in. When you put this color on, you feel good, you feel happy, you feel joyful. I want you to focus more on that than necessarily the colors that are right for you. Because the colors that are right for me are not necessarily the colors that I'm wearing all the time. So pick the colors that you feel best in. Now the next thing to pay attention to is what fits do you feel best in? What silhouettes? Do you like when clothes are looser? Do you like when clothes are more fitted and structured? Do you like things to be tight? Do you like things to be long or shorter? Whatever silhouettes you like, start to pay attention to those. And again, if you're kind of baffled or you're confused, go back to your mood board, go back to the celebrity style, your, you know, the file that you made on your desktop, look at those images and start to see the patterns. Are the silhouettes fitted? Are they looser? Are they, you know, maybe it's loose on top, fitted on the bottom, shorter skirts, longer skirts, whatever it is, start to pay attention to the fits that you're drawn to. And now that you've taken the time to pay attention to style and the styles that you like and the colors and fits that you like and the silhouettes, I want you to start thinking about the overall adjectives, the overall elements that you've seen again and again and again. Did feminine come up a bunch? Did bohemian come up a bunch? Did classic? Did preppy? Did edgy? Whatever it is. And it doesn't have to be just one. I personally, I have three. I have three elements. So I love classic clothes. I like classic timeless pieces. I also like pieces that have a little bit of edge to them or a little bit of interest. And I also like pieces that are feminine or silhouettes that are feminine. Those are my three defining adjectives or elements when it comes to my personal style. So I want you to start thinking about and paying attention to what are yours. It could be three, it could be four, it could be two. That's what's going to help you really define your personal style. If finding your personal style is something that you want to achieve and you want to feel great and confident about, and it will help you in your shopping decisions and your purchase decisions and in so many other ways in your closet, then take the time and make the effort to pay attention to finding your style. And it's important to remember that your style can change over time through different phases of your life. If you want to improve your style and love your clothes, watch this next video where I share nine things to stop buying now.
So I hope this video gave you the steps and the confidence to move towards your personal style. Thanks for watching and for new videos every Thursday, click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.